And at least 12 people have died since the beginning of the year in the Sioux Falls area from overdose. And nearly four dozen more people overdose and live. Many were saved by Narcan. Many street drugs are laced with a deadly synthetic opioid, fentanyl. Treating people for opioid and other addictions is more vital than ever in order to save lives. And tonight, Cumberland Land's Angela Kennecke has information on medically assisted treatment for opioid addiction and how it's helped one young mother reclaim her life. There are a few different kinds of medication used to treat opioid addiction, and they aren't without controversy. However, medically assisted treatment has shown the highest success rate long term for keeping people in recovery. 30-year-old Megan Eyehacker says Suboxone is just one tool that has helped her stay healthy. <laughs> Megan Eyehacker grew up on a farm in McCook County. She never imagined that she would end up addicted to heroin living out of her car. It started with opioid pills at the age of 22. There was a couple of friends that were using them and I just tried it and I fell in love with how it made me feel. Eventually, the pills were too hard to get and too expensive and she turned to smoking heroin. It changes the way you think. Um, so it would be like your brain would be telling you, you have to have this. In her late 20s, after three stints in treatment centers, she was living on the streets. Every day it was a challenge to how you're gonna find drugs, where you're gonna sleep, and how you're gonna just live. You know, it's like a, a struggle every day and it, it wears you down completely. Eventually, her doctor suggested she try Suboxone, which is the combination of two different drugs and reduces cravings and withdrawal symptoms. Essentially, it takes away all that craving. It kind of normalizes behavior. It also kind of normalizes to uh, your, your, how your brain works to a large extent. It is a life-saving tool. If you actually are ready to stop using heroin and opiates or oxy or whatever you're using, it works. You know, if you take it as prescribed and you take it for a long term, you'll see differences. Iacker took it throughout her pregnancy with her now eight-month-old daughter, Jade, under close medical supervision. This is needed just like insulin is needed for diabetes, I believe. However, it's not just Suboxone that has helped Iacker stay off heroin. I believe that God has changed me completely. Only he can do that. You know, I couldn't do it myself, so he did that for me. And her daughter is her inspiration to stay in recovery. She is a, my, my miracle, and she's a reason why I'm sober today. She saved my life. Suboxone can potentially be abused. Dr. Anand says anyone who prescribes it should only be giving a small amount at a time and should ask patients to bring in their medication to be counted during regular visits, as well as include random drug testing to make sure it is being used as prescribed. Iacker is currently being weaned off Suboxone after 18 months on it by her doctor.